If you have any questions about the techniques we used in the video, please leave us a question in the comments or check out BradyAdventures.com for a more detailed blog post on the construction of the drawers. Today I'm going to work on constructing the uh, wing pieces for the side just to kind of enclose that whole space. Alright, so I've got this uh, little scribe and I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but I'm going to trace a template of this onto this poster board with this and get an approximate shape of the wing on this side and then, uh, and then I'll fine tune it and we'll see how it goes. Construction of the templates was a little tricky. I had to go back over a few times before I got it just right and then use the template to cut out the wood to fit. One thing I missed that you want to make sure that you do, the side towards the front of the vehicle, you need to cut it at an angle so that the wings can still open up even when the seats are in the locked position. Took a little while to get my templates right and then I had to kind of fine tune the wood, but uh, you can see I have the two wings. Um, they fit down in here pretty nicely and leave about uh, between an eighth and a quarter of an inch on each side. Now I'm going to work on the pieces that are going to go right here to cover this uh, and then I'll do the fronts of the drawer. All right, so now I got the uh, side pieces here that are going to go here and here and you can see those are going to mount right there and cover up that little hole and you can put you know, some people do air over there or perhaps uh, electrical outlets and stuff to plug into. Got the drawer fronts cut and notched. Um, got the side pieces and the wings all ready to go. Nothing's mounted yet, but I'm gonna prime them. I get a little paint on them and uh, then I'm gonna attach everything. After all the pieces were cut, it was just time to screw everything together. The drawer fronts took a little extra TLC to make sure the latches still closed easily. Alright, so I'm going to walk around and show you what I've done. Let's see, I first thing I did was uh, made some templates for the wings. Those. Let me show you how I mounted those. So got these hinges. They're just sort of standard cabinet hinges at Lowe's. Um, and they actually, when they close, they close up more than 90. Just they pull a little bit tighter. So these are in there to support weight. Um, they also keep this thing going down to a 90 degree, actually a little above it. But when you put pressure on it, these give a little. So. Um, that side, this side was done the same way. These I mounted with these little L brackets. Um, I'm gonna put these uh, inside in a couple places just to reinforce the lateral movement as well. I haven't done that yet. I also routed the edge all the way around the back and the sides. Nothing to snag on, it's gonna look a little bit better. I also did these drawer fronts, so all the other pictures and videos before um, where the drawers just sat in here flush inside, and now we have these fronts on, um, and so I had to measure and cut these notches um, for the drawer locks. Well, this guy, the drawer was actually mounted back maybe between a 16th and an 8th further back. Um, off the um, further back from this line here so I had to shim them a lot and I what I did is I I caulked in here because when I put the monster liner on I wanted to kind of coat up against that but you can see the gap you can see the gap right here um, is pretty significant um, and there you have it so the next thing you will see is this thing coated and ready to go in the truck 
If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. And always feel free to leave us any comments or questions that you might have.